The giraffe is one of the most famous animals of Africa and the world in general. Its long neck and spotted body are recognized by everyone. Many people think of the giraffe as a kind and peaceful animal, but today's video will change that perception. In this video, I'll show you why you shouldn't be afraid of crocodiles but of tall giraffes, as well as share some interesting facts about these creatures. Let's go! Giraffe versus Giraffe In the Zambezi National Park near Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, biologist Angela Ferguson managed to capture two giraffes preparing for a fight, but it didn't end because something went wrong. In the video, the giraffes circle around each other until one of them starts headbutting its opponent trying to knock it down. As a result, it slightly overdoes it and picks up its opponent's hind leg with its head, straightening up and scooting it high into the air. Its opponent, meanwhile, walked nonchalantly in a small circle on three limbs. The biologist who filmed the giraffes said that they were not going to have a full-scale fight. One of them is much younger than the other and behaves rather modestly, clearly trying to avoid confrontation. Although the clash never turned into a full-fledged fight, the giraffes actually fight their rivals in a very dangerous way, using their most impressive body part, necks. Giraffes fight to win the sympathy of females or simply to prove their dominance in a territory. During such a fight, they can use small but hard horns and sharp hooves, which with proper accuracy can be extremely dangerous. The main purpose of such a fight is to knock an opponent down. Another similar case was caught on camera in South Africa. Two giraffes put up a fierce fight in front of visitors to a local wildlife refuge. According to Wayne Howarth, who led the tour, giraffes fought over a female standing nearby. The fight was short but equal until one of the males went for a trick. The winner of the confrontation hooked the hind leg of its rival with its neck and toppled it to the ground. Fair Fight a team of biologists from the University of Manchester studied northern giraffes in the Magalaquena River Lodge in South Africa between November 2016 and May 2017. The new study found that giraffes choose opponents roughly the same size as them, which has been interpreted as a noble example of fair play. However, it may be more prosaic than that. Seeing their opponents' clear superiority, giraffes don't engage them. The researchers found that sparring, allowing the rivals to assess the balance of power, was most often observed in young males, as well as between males that were more or less comparable in size. At the same time, fights between males of similar sizes were characterized by high intensity and short duration. In other words, they were fairly vicious but short skirmishes. These results support the assumption that sparring mainly serves to test the competitiveness of adult males without escalating into full-fledged fights, the authors of the study noted. The team also noticed a bar-brawl effect, with one fight provoking fights by other giraffes nearby. Surprisingly, the fights had referees, other males that sometimes interrupted clashes between younger ones. The researchers also found that sparring showed a seasonal peak that coincided with the beginning of the rainy season. This understanding of giraffe behavior allows zoos and gamekeepers and sanctuaries to take better care of the animals. By the way, not so long ago, it was discovered that giraffes are not one species, but four. This was shown by the study of the genome. Outwardly, it's not so easy to distinguish giraffes of different species, but these species separated on the genetic branch long ago, from 230 to 370,000 years ago. In the wild, they don't mix, but in zoos, the difference between species doesn't stop giraffes from playing love games and giving birth to hybrid offspring. Also, in 2017, a villager in Garissa County, Kenya, saw two white giraffes. The species was identified as the endangered reticulated giraffe. The two animals represented a family, a mother and its baby. With the help of the camera, it was possible not only to capture the beauty of white giraffes, but also to get the first image of two animals with leukemia. It's a genetic disorder that prevents the normal formation of pigment within epithelial cells. It differs from albinism and that dark pigment can still be produced inside the tissues, so the mother and baby had dark eyes and a slight discoloration in some places on the body. Lions versus Giraffes Giraffes have almost no natural enemies. However, the lion is one of the few that dares to attack these giants. In the world of wildlife, predators do not necessarily choose a prey of their own size or smaller. The prey may exceed their size, but then hunting techniques tactics and strategy come into play. 
visitors to Kruger National Park in South Africa were lucky enough to see such a spectacular fight between a lion pride and a single giraffe. It attacked the giraffe. Friends of Giraffes In the Serengeti National Park of Tanzania, for many years there was a project that installed camera traps that automatically took pictures of animals in the vicinity. At one point, one camera captured something no one had seen before. Researchers had always known that a brown bird called the yellow-billed oxpecker cared for giraffes and other large African mammals. The tiny creature removed ticks. Previously, however, this activity was observed only during the day. One night, the giraffe triggered one of the traps, which took a series of pictures. They showed that groups of sleeping yellow-billed oxpeckers were located in the animal's armpits. No one had thought before that birds sometimes preferred to spend the night where they found food. While this was surprising, it wasn't hard to see why the oxpeckers did so. Besides staying so close to their feeding host, it was warm and safe in the giraffe's armpits. That's all, guys. Which footage and facts surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.